Right then, this is just a quick walk around video. And this is for a Lexus LS 600 hybrid. Uh, beautiful looking car, finished in black as you can see here, 59 plate with 49,000 miles on the car. Uh, it's in absolutely beautiful condition and it's a real credit to its owner. Um, front of the car hardly exhibits a stone chip of any note. There will be the odd one or two microscopic ones, but they are very, very, very minor indeed. The whole car, in all honesty, is absolutely beautiful. Um, near side of the vehicle, absolutely mirror smooth in the panel work front wing and bumper corner there you can see there's clear clean as a whistle front alloy very clean and tidy and then the panel work down the side is really really clean and crisp I apologize for doing this a little bit later than I'd ordinarily do it but pressure to get the videos done means I can't pick my times unfortunately uh, rear alloy again absolutely fantastic condition and I'll just come back to this angle here sometimes you get a better angle from behind just to see how crisp and clean that panel work actually is. Likewise, around the back of the car here, very, very, very clean and tidy. And then to the off side of the vehicle, which as with the near side, shows no indentations at all in the panel work. The paintwork is so original and clean on this car. Um, so it said, it certainly belies the age and mileage of the vehicle, it really does. and they look absolutely fantastic in black. It really is the color of choice of this particular make and model of car. So overall externally, I mean, you'd have to look very hard and be incredibly critical. The much side of a new car, this is as clean as you'll ever really see one. It's so coming into the back of the car now. The interior of the car, as with the exterior, is beautiful. It's a lovely color scheme inside the car, matches it beautifully and the interior condition is what you'd expect to see on a car this way, well maintained and looked after. Let's come to the offside of the car just to show you the here as well. Obviously a full set of original Lexus in, uh, interior mats are fitted to the car and in very nice condition as well. Let's come to the front now. Driver's door card, absolutely beautiful. Footwell area, all very, very, very clean and tidy and a multifunction, obviously electric, driver's seat and leather work is absolutely beautiful. So sat inside the car now, uh, passenger seat here, as with the driver's seat, is absolutely pristine. Um, all the footwell areas, apologize, a little bit dark, uh, very, very clean and tidy. And the dashboard itself, a wonderful piece of architecture is in beautiful 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 condition so sat now as you can see there clearly is working exactly as it should if i pop the car into reverse there you've got a nice gridded rear parking camera which is really really clear and crisp and easy to use coming across the main dashboard itself uh, just to show you there we've got 49,843 miles if i just put the car into drive just to get rid of the park light and uh, as you can see that there's absolutely no warning lights on the dashboard at all uh, but it really really is a fabulous fabulous car this one so what should follow this video or what will follow this video rather uh, will be a road test of this very car right then this is a quick road test video for a Lexus LS 600 hybrid, hybrid uh, registered GU59VEB. Mileage at the start of this brief road test is 49,843 miles. The reason we do the videos, as I say in all of them, um, is we want customers to see the cars we're looking to sell in operation uh, prior to coming to see us. That way, if there are any issues with the vehicle, we can relay them to you prior to you coming to us. Uh, nothing more frustrating um, than to go and see a car many hundreds of miles away only to find out there's a fundamental fault with it which you clearly should have been told about. So hence that's why we do it. Um, and if there's nothing to mention on it, clearly I won't, but I have done on many of my previous videos and I will continue to do so. Um, 
The road tests are also done on the same road test route just outside our premises that any prospective buyer will go on if they're interested in purchasing the vehicle. Uh, firstly, an apology actually on the video. Um, on cars which don't have sunroofs, I have to side mount the camera, which I know isn't the best camera angle. Um, I've had people sort of contacting me saying they don't like the angle, and I do apologise. And if I can find a better way to mount the camera where it's steady, then I will do so. But if you can bear with me while I do, or try and find a better way, um, please do so. So coming back to the car itself, um, if you've never driven one of these or a previous LS, you may not have experienced what is possibly one of the finest road cars you'll ever sit in. Um, the car, the engine, sort of whirs into life with the press of a button to kick the hybrid motor into operation. Um, the engine then engages seamlessly as and when it's required to do so. It does it all for you. You're not selecting anything, doing anything to fundamentally change much about that. Um, it's it's an absolute masterpiece of engineering. Um, not just the way the hybrid works or the engine or anything else. I mean, they're incredibly um, you know, they're, they're, they're just remarkable pieces of engineering in their own right, but it's the way they all come together to give this, you know, seamless is kind of overused, but it's the perfect description for this car, uh, especially when you've got the gearbox attached to it as well. The whole thing just genuinely feels like you've been kind of catapulted to the horizon on an elastic band with no, that now put foot down to go. And there's no gear change, there's nothing. It's just this wall of power and torque that hurls you forward. Um, simply incredible, absolutely incredible. And I've driven all its competitors. Um, they're all nice cars, of course they are. They're not, you know, not gonna build a bad luxury car these days. Um, not in terms of the way they drive, certainly. But there's something very, very, very special about this. Um, you know, it's not designed clearly to be the most sporting car in the world, and it isn't. But it's actually far more able than people give it credit for. You know, I hustled this along an A and a B road last night in a bit of a rush, um, and very, very, very impressed with it. It didn't flounder or flounder, um, wallow through the corners uh, to any great degree. It turned, it held its line like now, uh, with minimum fuss and it just gets you through. What these are designed for is to be able to cover big mileages and get you to the other end in absolute comfort. You know, it's ridiculously refined and quiet. I'm now at the legal limit and it's absolutely hushed in here. Uh, hardly any tire noise, can't detect any wind noise of any note. Uh, just the faint thrum of the tires going over the uh, road surface and even that's beautifully isolated. Um, you know, as I said, it has to be experienced to be believed. It really does. Um, the steering of the car tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel of the car at all. Um, so the suspension of the vehicle is, again, is just wonderful. It's it's supple. It's controlled. It gives the impression, you know, this is how I would have imagined as a kid a Rolls Royce would drive in my you know, fantasy life. You know, it just wafts along. It feels like a big, heavy, substantial car, which is exactly what it is. Um, but it means it irons out the worst of the surfaces absolutely brilliantly, but does maintain its composure, rem I said, remarkably, uh, remarkably well. Um, of the video is to pick up any issues what i'm looking for at times like this may be kind of a little bit where this crept in the system where you might hear sort of faint sort of metallic noises where um, any sort of bushes or you know may have perished in a tiny bit of metal on metal and that can sound really annoying and you know a car is hushed as this but there's nothing at all it's absolutely as quiet as you, you could ever imagine checking it's got the radar cruise control which measures the distance of the cars in front and that's working absolutely perfectly. Um, as I said, at the legal limit now, you know, it's 
very quiet and again what I'm looking for is kind of any wind intrusion that shouldn't be there where you may have a windscreen seal or door seal which has been damaged allowing kind of an irritating wind hissing but there's absolutely nothing at all. Uh, I've got a very sharp left hand corner so I'm going to leave my braking a fraction later than normal and just give it a sharp shove on the brakes. And they're really solid, absolutely no vibrations, no pulsing coming through the brake pedal at all. It feels a, a rock solid brake pedal there, um, very well modulated, not grabby um, and not soft. It's just got, you know, it feels very powerful. Looking around inside the car, in all honesty, it, it, it looks almost as new. Um, what the video can't get across to you, and you might have to take my word for it, but you know, you'd, if you came and saw the car and drove it, you know, if you wanted to buy it, um, you'll remember this part of the video. I don't think I've ever been in a car that feels as solid as this car feels. Every single thing about it, the way the dashboard's made, the quality of the switch gear, um, but there's, you know, this is a seven, eight year old car. Um, and there's not even the faintest murmur from the interior of the car. There's no noise from the, the trim of the vehicle at all. It is quite brilliantly, brilliantly made. And this, without wishing to sort of, you know, enrage owners of kind of Audis and BMWs and Mercedes, I think, and I've always maintained it, that these are the best built cars in the world, in the real world of driving. Not when the press get hold of them with a couple of hundred miles on the clock, when they give their kind of impression of build quality. This is build quality in the real world, many years down the line. And I've been in the, the opposition and they don't hold together as well as this. They don't feel, you know, pretty much as brand new as this car feels when you drive it. It's just an astonishing, astonishing car. Um, beautifully done, actually really simple as well, which is what I love about it. You know, it's, it's, it's a high-tech car, but it's actually quite conventional in the way it operates. You know, you've got this lovely, huge sat-nav screen, uh, which dominates the centre display, and all the switch gear around it is just very nice and, you know, very ergonomically designed, um, and works absolutely fantastically well. The stereo system is awesome. If you like your music, and um, you've got the Mark Levinson stereo on these vehicles, um, and because you've got such a lack of background noise, it, you can hear you know, the, the finer points of music absolutely beautifully through the, the, the stereo there. Um, but, you know, the heated seats, air-cooled seats, all working absolutely perfectly. Um, then the dashboard in front, which is really classy. Beautiful conventional dials, your normal four dials, big speedo and rev counter. Then you've got, you know, an eco um, power charge gauge on the left and a fuel gauge on the right and then in the middle you've got an information display um, which gives you information sort of relating to the hybrid system if you so wish but you can change different functions on that as well um, but the steering of the car steering wheel every single thing in here just feels you know as close to new as you could reasonably expect any used car to be and that's not you know sort of get out for anything it is really beautiful in here um, you know it's hard not to kind of eulogize back a car like this when it's you know it is what it is and it's just it's a, a, a simply wonderful car to drive so if you're looking for you know a, a car that's um you know gonna take you from a to b in absolute comfort but also bear in mind that compared to you know its natural competitors will be your kind of big turbo diesel sevens s class and audi a8 none of them are as reliable as this you know it's not to say Lexus don't go wrong because of course they do any car can go wrong it's just the infrequency compared to the other manufacturers and the, the lack of seriousness compared to them um, you know we won't touch old sort of seven seven series of s-class because the issues they have whereas old ls's we absolutely love um, and this is no different in that respect um, anyway i hope the video has been of help to you i can't find anything wrong with it i could have probably a shortcut this video very quickly I do apologize but I do love this car um, but if I've missed anything on the vi on the video it's not by intent of design you know please do give me a call uh, you know I'll happily answer any questions that you uh, may have about the car